this video, we'll solve the following problem. Now let's refer to the figure shown. Uh, by the way, di ko pa pinakita, we have a T-beam, and then ganto yung reinforcements natin, pagpasensya niyo na lang yung drawing. And then for the tension reinforcement, we have 5 bars, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then dito sa taas, for the compression reinforcement, we have apat, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then H1 is equal to 100 mm, while H2 is equal to 480 mm. And then we have a beam width of 350 mm. By the way, hindi ko nasulat, yung steel covering daw is 70 mm. And so from the center of the bar, patungo dito, this is 70 mm. And so this means that our D will be 480 plus 100 minus 70. So 480 minus, I mean, 480 plus 100 minus 70, this will give us 510. So D is equal to 510 mm. Now by the way, uh, dito pala, our beam is a simple span of 6 meters. And so diba, since this is the portion of the beam in which the minimum stirrups or web reinforcement is needed, then we first have to compute VU and we also need VC. And so ito yung gagawin natin. First, let's solve VC. Now VC is just 0.17 lambda square root of fc prime multiplied by b multiplied by d and so this is 0.17 times 1 since we'll just assume normal weight concrete and then square root of fc prime which is 34 multiplied by b which is 350 times d which is 510 again this just comes from 480 plus 100 minus 70 and so our vc will now be 176940 so 176 940.24 and then this is newtons now we also need vs and so vs will be av which is this is the area of the shear reinforcement which is the cross-sectional area of the stirrups so diba we have four lines and so this will be for the diameter of the stirrup is equal to 10 mm so for 10 mm and so our av will be 4 multiplied by pi over 4 times 10 squared. This is our area, and then since we have 4 lines, this is now 4. Again, you are considering the area of the stirrup times FYT. If not given, FYT is just FYV, so this is 275. And then multiplied by D, which is 510, divided by the spacing. Now our spacing here is 140 mm. So this is 140 mm. Now, by the way, sinabi pala dito na 12 mm yung diameter ng ties. And so probably, this will supersede what's mentioned right here. And so let's just use 12. And then, try natin yung Vs. And so input natin, 4 times pi over 4 times 12 squared times 275 times 510 over 140. This will give us 453197.18. And then this is Newton's. Now diba, alam natin na VU is equal to phi multiplied by VS plus VC. And so we can now compute VU. So our VU will be phi which is for shear 0.75. So 0.75 times VS which is 453197.18 plus 176940.24 for VC. And so this is now 472603. And then this is Newton's. And so we cannot convert this. And so our VU here will be this length. This is this value, 472603. Now how about VVC? VVC will just be 0.75 multiplied by this one. So 176940.24. This gives us 132705.18. And so dividing this by 2, we have 66352.5. And so using ratio and proportion, since this is D, which is 0.51 meters, we can now solve this. So diba, if this is 6 meters, then this is now 3 meters, this distance. And so since we are certain of VU, gagamitin na lang natin to for the ratio and proportion. So we have VU is to 3 minus 0.51. This is equal to VVC divided by this distance. Sabi na lang natin na this is D1. And so over D1, we now have 472603 over 3 minus 0.51. This is equal to 132705, which is VVC divided by D1. And so we can now solve D1. And so D1 will be 0.699 or 0.7. And then this is meters. However, this isn't what we are looking for. We are actually looking for this distance. 
Now, if this is 0.7, then this distance will be 0 0.35 because this is VVC over 2. And so this distance will now be 0 0.35. This is how we can solve the problem. However, you actually have to account two sides. Now, diba, if this is 0 0.35, then this distance will also be 0.35. And so for the total length of the beam, where the minimum stirrup is required, that will be 0.35 plus 0.35. And so 0.35 plus 0.35, this will be 0 0.7 meters. This is our answer.